Things had already been looking good for Ripple in the last months, but after the recent news, supporters are even more optimistic that Ripple is about to revolutionize the world. Welcome, XRP Army. Let's grow the XRP Lab community by pressing the like button and subscribe. We are giving away $500 at the end of the month to one random subscriber to continue on their XRP journey. All you need to do is to like the video, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comment section. In today's video, we'll discuss why recent news confirm Ripple is the new system let's head into it. A collaboration with blockchain technology vendor Ripple has resulted in the Qatar National Bank announcing its worldwide cross-border payment strategy, which is currently being implemented. A report published on Monday by the Gulf Times stated that the collaboration will see QNB test Ripple's financial technology network, RippleNet, with QNB Finance Bank in Turkey as part of a group rollout, with the goal of expanding into more corridors in the future, according to the story. QNB always innovates to provide the best of service to its customers, and this partnership is yet another fintech initiative of the bank to enhance the product offerings for our customers, said Heba Al-Tamimi, general manager for group retail banking at QNB. Naveen Gupta, managing director at Ripple, added, We are excited to be a strategic partner with QNB, bringing together innovations in banking and fintech to enhance the cross-border payments experience and ultimately scale QNB's remittance service on RippleNet into additional markets. Since last week, both Singapore and Malaysia's national central banks have stated that their clients would be able to make real-time cross-border money transfers using a cell phone number starting in the first quarter of 2022. Moss and BNM recently announced a phased linkage of payment systems run by PayNow in Singapore and Do It Now in Malaysia, which they termed as a phased linkage of payment systems operated by PayNow in Singapore and DoIt Now in Malaysia. Additionally, the collaboration of Cambodia's Central Bank and Malaysia's Maybank on digital cross-border money transfers has taken place this year, with the National Bank of Cambodia and Maybank enabling transactions using the bank's respective e-wallets, Bakong, and the May app, among other methods, to facilitate transactions. By the way, do you agree that this latest news will help Ripple become the new system worldwide? Let us know in the comments section down below. For the purpose of bringing things full circle, Ripple announced at the start of the year 2021 that it had entered into an agreement with Mobile Money, a Malaysian mobile wallet provider, and Bcash, a Bangladeshi mobile financial services provider serving more than 45 million people, under which the companies will conduct transactions using the RippleNet network to facilitate payments. In truth, Ripple is performing incredibly well not just in foreign countries, but even in the United States. The price of cryptocurrencies has been under control in recent months due to concerns about Bitcoin regulation. Last week, the value of Bitcoin plummeted as a result of China's central bank's announcement that cryptocurrency-related activities are illegal, reaffirming the country's tough stance on the country's digital competitors to government-issued money. Rep. Powell, chairman of the House Financial Services Committee, was asked whether he had any intentions to prohibit or limit the use of cryptocurrencies in a way comparable to that of the People's Republic of China during his grilling before the committee on Wednesday. Notably, he has stated that he does not intend to prohibit stablecoins, which are digital currencies whose values are pegged to government-issued currencies like the dollar. His alternative viewpoint is that stabilized coins, like money market funds and bank deposits, fall outside of the regulatory perimeter and should be controlled as a result of this. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency traders expressed satisfaction with the Federal Reserve Chairman's position, despite the fact that his remarks did not indicate any substantial shift in Fed policy. Ava Trade's Naeem Aslam says, that was of course a very favorable note, especially when compared to the People's Bank of China. Aslam is also the company's chief market analyst. Also, make sure to write your thoughts on this announcement regarding crypto in the US in the comment section. XRP has already made huge gains as a result of this, and it is likely to make much greater gains in the foreseeable future. The most recent advancements once again highlight two of Ripple's most valuable assets, the amazing community and the exceptionally competent development team. Ripple has a thriving and active community that has made it their mission to increase awareness of Ripple's technology and to urge others to become involved with the project. For them, Bringing as many people on board as possible is essential so that they can see directly how blockchain is transforming the world for the better. If you're considering about making an investment, the first thing you should do is look into this particular firm. As seen by its agreements with a number of big financial institutions, like Western Union and MoneyGram International Inc., this company has the potential to dominate the banking sector in the future. 
As a consequence of the strong technology that underlies the currency, Ripple has been able to grow at such a quick rate. This technology allows individuals to transfer money anywhere in the world without paying any fees. As a consequence, it will appeal to investors who are looking for a new way to diversify their portfolios and who are looking for something different. While the company's ultimate goal is to enable rapid payments all across the world, they now manage around one-third of all worldwide transactions, with XRP tokens accounting for only 40% of total payment volume. Transnational payments are made possible through the use of the cryptocurrency XRP, while the rest of the digital assets are used for speculative investment purposes. Furthermore, this is a key advantage of the Ripple cryptocurrency over other digital assets, and it should not be disregarded while evaluating the cryptocurrency. According to experts, the government's decision to restrict Bitcoin transactions in China should serve as a validation of their claims. In a statement issued last week, the People's Bank of China announced that all cryptocurrency transactions are now forbidden in the country, with effect from immediately. Furthermore, the use of digital assets is increasingly being viewed as a type of illicit financial activity, according to authorities. Also, a new coin is making great gains which is said to be the new Ether. Currently, the price of Hedera Hashgraph is 39 cents. According to the report, the figures rose by 14.4% this week compared to last. During the token sale, Hedera Hashgraph is expected to make a significant contribution to the growth of its ecosystem by creating a special fund for expansion with a budget of more than $4.5 billion, or about 20% of the total token supply, which will be funded entirely by token sales. Hedera Hashgraph is expected to expand its ecosystem with a $4.5 billion budget, according to the company's estimates. Recently made disclosures by the Hedera Hashgraph Governing Council suggest that the council has set aside 10.7 billion HBAR, the cryptocurrency's proprietary token, to finance the growth and expansion of the ecosystem's infrastructure. According to the statement, the total token supply is about $4.5 billion, which at the current market price, 42 cents, represents around 20% of the entire token supply. It has been reported that around half of the assets have already been handed to the newly created independent fund HBAR, according to the Hedera Council. According to the statement, the other half of the funds now held in Hedera Treasury accounts will be used to support cooperative initiatives as well as additional ecosystem creating activities in addition to the cooperative efforts, which will be announced soon. A more specific description of the Hedera Foundation's responsibilities is that it will manage the administration and expansion of the Hedera ecosystem by awarding grants to developers, entrepreneurs, and other organizations to expand the network to products such as DeFi, NFT, CBDC, and iGaming. Additionally, the foundation will employ artificial intelligence to track the evolution of the Hedera ecosystem. What do you think about the latest news regarding Ripple? Do you think it's about to become the new world system? Let us know in the comment section. If you want to continue knowing about XRP, we have two more videos waiting for you on the end screen to check out. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next video. Before heading out, kindly note that prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered as financial advice. Do conduct your due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.